What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another player review. So today we're going to be looking at Inform Marquinhos. Currently coming in at 325,000 on the PS4 and roughly 300,000 coins on the Xbox. Now I am actually pairing him up with this Dante card which I absolutely love him so far. Donnarumma and obviously we've got the Liga and right side of Fafan and Messi, all of that good stuff. Now I actually have his gold rare. I brought his gold rare card two days ago and I actually brought him for 85k and once he got an Inform he's now like 100 105k so I've actually made profit off of that um, obviously due to this inform coming out his normal gold rare is no longer in pack so I mean that's quite good but either way boys what a card this looks like I know his gold rare card is very popular six foot tall with medium high work rate which is absolutely ideal for a center back he's three star three star as well as for the pace we've gone for a shadow he goes from 82 pace up to 92 pace passing as well he's got some really nice short passing of 86 and 87 long passing so if your opponent is putting pressure on you something like that then obviously he won't be too bad in that sense dribbling as well 71 agility and 69 balance actually isn't too bad considering he is six foot tall 89 reactions with 88 composure there and defensively you just ca cannot ask for much more goes to 99 interceptions 94 hitting uh, 95 awareness with 99 stand and 99 slide tackles with a shadow physical i would say his strength of 80 is lacking a little bit so in that sense you might want to go for an anchor but he'll only get a plus 5 pace boost instead of a plus 10 and I feel like you just want that plus 10 to max his pace out um, but 83 aggression 80 strength is okay it could be better as I said trades he's got leadership power hitter and team player as well what a card this looks like can he live up to the hype as well an update on the current overall leaderboards remember ratings are based on how they perform for me and also their value in first it is David Janola in second it is Arnautovic and in third I believe is it Inform Alan I'm pretty sure. So yeah, without further ado, boys, let's get into it. Is he worth 320,000 coins? Right, let's have a look. It's okay. We are in the elite division, by the way. So I'm not looking forward to this one. Marquinhos with a huge tackle already. Now, obviously, I was using his gold rear beforehand, so I'm actually interested to see if his inform has a, a massively noticeable difference between his normal card, because it's like a, what, a 230,000 coin price difference between the two. Marquinhos again, boys. Absolute tank. He's going through them all. Let's uh, just pass that out. And that's what he can do as well. Like, he can, you know, progress the pitch a little bit. Um, he's not going to get, you know, because I was using player of month, Kula Bali. Obviously, he's got, like, 30 balance. Not saying agility and balance matters. What, Marquinhos has got, like, 71 agility, 69 balance. Which means, you know, you can progress the pitch with him a little bit. He's got some solid passing. So, he's not going to be too clunky in that sense. Marquinhos with it. Let's just boot that down. Lovely stuff. Beautiful pass in the end. Marquinhos with a lovely interception there. Once again, I'm going to progress the pitch a little bit. Let's just pass that short. Marquinhos actually gets that. It's really nice. We're going to clear that out as well. Right, so that game was absolutely woeful. We were 2-0 down at half time, and then my opponent proceeded to play very slow, like the whole second half of the game, ended 2-0. Um, both goals happened in the first half, but Marquinhos, nonetheless, he didn't even, we didn't even get any clips from the second half with him, because my opponent just played so tedious. I'm like, right, it's lead division, people would do anything. So let's hop into another one, boys, and uh, let's hope my opponent is, I don't even care if I lose, just as long as my opponent's more attacking, if you will. Um, but no, that was absolutely a beautiful first half display from Marquinhos, boys. He was absolutely wild. Um, I don't know what my opponent's doing here. But either way, you know, absolutely brilliant. Um, he, his tackles, his interceptions, absolutely exceptional. He felt good on the ball for his height. His passing of 87 short passing, like 86 long passing. Really, really, really impressed with him so far. And I know lots of people are going to be asking. Hopefully, I'll have a definite answer after this game. Because um, I've only played, like, you know, uh, one game with him so far. But so far, in my opinion, he seems to be working better than his gold rare card. Marquinhos, I just realized that was Marquinhos, that's a brilliant tackle, let's get that down, we, we win it back, we lose it, and then we win it back, but we'll take it boys, Two, a, a double tackle, a, a double, I can't speak, a double tackle from him there, very nice, Marquinhos, oh my god, that's huge, it's not over yet though, he's just going to sweat it, that is so unfortunate man, 
from a beautiful tackle and then he just it goes straight back to him. Really unfortunate, but either way, that is absolutely brilliant from Marquinhos. Despite EA's catching up with us, that is like one of the best tackles I, I've made this year. That is absolutely amazing. Overall with his card, boys, we played two games and he was absolutely sensational throughout with both of them. At least my second opponent decided to attack a little bit. Um, but 325,000 coins, was he better than his gold rare card? I'd say yes, he was. Um, his tackles going to tackles, he was absolutely brilliant. He was Mr. Reliable. He was genuinely a really, really nice card. But 325,000 coins, it's not a cheap price tag to pay. As you can see on the screen, or as you have been seeing on the screen, whoever pros have gone for his work rates, absolutely sensational medium high is ideal you cannot ask for anything better we've actually gone for his pace as well especially with a shadow he goes to 92 pace which is more than enough we've gone for passing and with the passing obviously necessarily i mean for 86 short passing and 87 long passing genuinely really good and playing it out from the back you'll be really reliable in that sense now we didn't consider dribbling a pro but it is borderline a pro 71 agility and 69 balance may not seem like a lot but for a six foot tall center back it's actually really respectable along with the 89 reactions, 81 ball control, and 88 composure under the dribbling stat. It is absolutely perfect. And obviously, we have gone for defending and physical. Now, with physical, I do mean like 85 stamina solid, 94 jumping solid, 80 strength, and 83 aggression. Was not a con, nor is it a pro, but I'll just, you know, class physical as a pro because it comes with a 94 jumping etc but as for his 80 strength and 83 aggression it's not ideal personally he didn't get pushed off the ball um, and not too much attackers you know meta attackers anyway have 80 plus strength I'd say um, I don't think Ronaldo's got 80 plus strength anymore I think he's got like 78 strength and barpe has got around that mark so in terms of actual you know strength compared to sweaty meta attackers Marquinhos 9 times out of 10 it should be beating them especially Neymar's if I've got like what 40 strength so Marquinhos is no worries in in that department I feel like strength in the past few FIFAs haven't for a center back I should say hasn't been as you know crucial as it has been and you know FIFA 17 FIFA 18 when you actually could play with a clunkier stronger players like an Ibrahimovic I feel like it's not as important these days um as for traits as well he's got the power header none of them really matter power header he will come up for corners he may score a few headers for you um but nonetheless boys really good card uh now his gold rare currently coming in at 100,000 coins, and this card currently coming in at 320,000 coins. Is this in form a noticeable difference? Yes, it is. Is it a 220,000 coin difference? In my opinion, yes, it is. I mean, even I feel like Legon center backs is so limited. You've got the new rule breakers Dante card, who I'm loving. You've got Kempembe, and then you've got Marquinhos's gold, Marquinhos's in form, and Marquinhos's road to the knockout. Personally, the best league on center back is going to be his road to the knockout, and I'll probably consider his inform the second best, and then I'll say probably followed by either Kempembe or Marquinhos' gold. So overall, I'm going to say, yeah, there's a noticeable difference, and if you do want to splash your coins on him, he would be a top, top center back. For the overall rating today, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to give him an 8.9 out of 10. I hope you guys did enjoy, and until next time, peace out.